This video is gonna walk you through how to access the quiz and then what to do to create the video with a little bit of a educations and doceri tutorial in the process. So first of all, I would recommend going from the web, from Safari, just to avoid any kind of upload problems. You can attempt from um, the Canvas app. Just make sure you give yourself enough time that if it's not uploading, you can come back to the web. So if you click into the Algebra 2 course, and I'm gonna click into the practice quiz, but you would click, click into the actual quiz. So the practice quiz said here, 1118. But again, when you're ready, you'll click onto the actual quiz. You'll wanna make sure you're enrolled in the Educreations class that's there so you have the pro tools if you're using Educreations. But you could also use Screen Record or you could use Doceri like I'm gonna show you in just a minute. When you're ready, you're gonna click take the quiz. Now on your actual quiz, you're gonna have exactly 60 minutes from that moment till you're done to turn it in. So just keep that in mind. So it says, screenshot your question, open the video recording app, record yourself explaining how to do the problem while you complete it, don't skip steps, and then save the video to your camera roll and submit it by clicking on that little play button icon into this question. So I'm gonna screenshot this question. You can crop it if you want to, you don't need to, but I just really want just that equation. Now I'm gonna open first, I'm gonna open is Educreations. So when you get into Educreations, the first time you get in there, you might see a white screen. If you hit the arrow back on the left, you get to your library, which looks like this. To create a new one, I'm gonna hit the plus symbol in the top left and I get that white board. I wanna add in my picture, so I hit the plus, hit the little landscape, and I'm gonna pull in that picture of my question. You can't crop in here, so that's the only reason I, why I would recommend maybe cropping out the rest of the stuff. But if not, you just want to put it in that corner. And then in order to make the video, you have to hit record here. So now I'm recording. It's recording my audio, and it's about to record what I'm writing. Here is my function. f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 6. So my first step is to group together the first two terms, leave the space, and bump the negative 6 out. Now I have to fill in that space with what would complete this trinomial. So I'm gonna do the four divided by two and square it. That's how I find what should go in that last space. That means two squared, which is four. I'm gonna add the four inside the parentheses and I'm gonna subtract it from outside the parentheses to balance this equation. And I end up with f of x equals x squared minus four x plus four minus 10. Now I just made this a perfect squared trinomial, so I wanna factor it. I'm gonna square root the first term, which is the x, square root the last term, which is two, and take the sign from the middle, so the minus goes inside the parentheses, put it in parentheses, and make sure to square it, minus 10. So here's the standard form of my equation, and that's the first major milestone. Then from here, I wanna do the vertex. So I do the opposite of what follows x, which would be two, comma, what follows y, with the sign, so it's negative 10. The axis of symmetry is x equals, I have to have the x there because it's an equation, 2, and I get that from the x coordinate of my vertex. Now, the y-intercept is the next easiest thing to find, and for that, I go back to the original. If I plug a 0 in here and here, those are both gone, and the only thing left is negative 6. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 6. The x-intercept is a little bit trickier. So for the x-intercept, I plug zero in for y. Now if I plug it in up here, I would check to see if this is factorable. There's no factors of negative six that sum to negative four. So my option there would be the quadratic formula. In my opinion, it's easier to take this function and use the even root property to solve it. So I'm gonna make the f of x, which is my y, zero, x minus two in the parentheses squared minus 10. I'm gonna add the 10 to both sides. I get 10 equals x minus two squared. I'm gonna square root both sides, putting a plus and minus in front of the 10. And I get plus and minus the square root of 10 equals x minus two. Add the two and I get two plus and minus the square root of 10 equals x. So I have two x-intercepts, two minus square root 10, zero, two plus square root 10 zero. Keep in mind that these are exact, so you want to keep them exactly that way, and that the intercepts are coordinate points, so you want them to be zero, negative six, and then uh, two minus, plus or minus root 10, zero. Now I've got to graph this. So I'm going to pull in, I have 
saved in my camera roll. A coordinate grid. So I'm gonna pull that in. Now notice my uh, video just paused, so I'm gonna hit record again so it continues. I'm gonna plot the point that is two, negative 10. That's my X, I'm sorry, that's my vertex. I'm gonna plot my Y intercept, which is zero, negative six. And then these points I'm gonna approximate. So you can use a calculator to approximate it. If you don't have one, think that root 10 is a little bit bigger than root nine, so maybe like a 3.2. So I'd get two minus 3.2 or three plus 3.2 plus 3.2. So negative 1.2 and 5.2. Negative 1.2 is here, 5.2 is here, and then I'm gonna draw my parabola connecting those points. And that's it. If you need more space on Edge of Creations, you can use two fingers to swipe up and down. If I need to add a new page, I click the arrow on the bottom right and it gives me a new page. As soon as you're done with your video, you wanna hit the pause button on the top left. And then you wanna hit the square with the arrow pointing to the left. And it's gonna ask you, do you wanna save the draft or save the finished video? Before we save this, let me show you one other quick tip. Let's say at the end, I wanted to remove part of this video. If I hit the play button here, it's gonna give me what I did on the bottom. And let's say I wanted to just erase off that last piece. I can click edit and I can actually trim off the last piece of that video. If you know you made a mistake or you said something wrong. You can't do it from the middle or from the beginning, but you can trim off the end and then you can continue to record. You can also pause, leave this video, and come back to it by saving the draft. But I'm done, so I'm going to save my finished video. I'm going to give it the title. Save it. And it's going to load. When that arrow goes away, it's now loaded. To put it in my camera roll, I'm gonna click select. I'm gonna click on that little picture. I'm gonna click the arrow up and I'm gonna say save video. Now it's gonna compress and save into my camera roll. This does take a couple of minutes to do, so keep in mind that you wanna allow yourself plenty of time to export your video so that you can then go to Canvas and upload it. And while this is working, you cannot close out the app. Notice it says the app needs to stay open during the export. When it's done, you'll get that little message that's saved to the camera roll. Now I can go to Canvas. Again, back from the web. I'm gonna click on the little, um, almost rectangular shape with the play button on the inside. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna record the media or upload media. I wanna upload the media. I'm gonna select my video file. I'm gonna click on photo library and it's gonna be that last video I just uploaded. I'm gonna click use. It's gonna compress the video. It's telling me I'm submitting the media file. And then it's loaded. I still have to click sub submit quiz. So I click submit quiz. And now my quiz is submitted. You can see that submission right there in the corner. Okay, now I'm gonna show you that same example, but using Doceri. So in Doceri, which is an app called, it's D-O-C-E-R-I, you're gonna get to this screen. You're gonna click the plus on the bottom left. You're gonna do the iPad default. And there's your white screen again. Now the great thing about Doceri is you can actually write without recording, rewind it, play it back while you record. 
So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna add in from my photo library, the same question I had already. I'm gonna make it small in the corner so that I can see it, but that it's not in my way. I'm gonna hit the little pen on the top so there's just different kinds of brushes up there. I grab the small one and I'm gonna start to write out my problem. So x squared minus four x, I'm gonna group it, bump out the six, take the four, divide it by two, square it. So it's two squared, which is four. Add the four inside the parentheses, subtract it from outside the parentheses. X squared minus four X plus four minus 10 is my F of X. Now I factor it, square root the first, square root the last, take the sign from the middle, put it in the parentheses, square it and subtract the 10. And again, here's my standard form. From here, I'm gonna identify my vertex, opposite of what follows X, opposite, I mean, and then what follows the parentheses, keep that the same. The axis is symmetry, X equals two. The Y intercept, plug in the zeros for X, and I, I'm gonna plug it in up here because it's easiest, negative six. And then the X intercepts, which I'm not gonna work out again because I already did, but is 10, is actually plus or minus the square root of 10 plus two or two minus root 10 comma zero and two plus root 10, zero. So if this was the actual video, I'd actually make sure I write all that out, but we already did that once. Now I'm gonna bring in the coordinate grid. I'm gonna plot my coordinate points. So two, negative 10, zero, negative six. We said this was approximately negative 1.2 and approximately 5.2. And then I'm gonna connect my points. So again, notice I haven't actually hit record. This is not a video yet. There's four little gray bars here at the top that if I pull this down, I can rewind my steps and I can play it back by hitting, there's a play button on the right hand side and it will play it back. I can make sure that speed is good for me to do my audio. If it's not, I can make it faster or slower by moving this toggle. That's good, so I'm gonna rewind it again. This time I'm gonna hit record in the top left and start my recording. Then I'm gonna hit play on the right my function is x squared minus 4x minus 6. I'm going to group together the first two terms, find the second, take the second, divide it by 2, square it, and that's 4. Add that inside the parentheses, subtract it from outside, and I get x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 10. There is my equation. I need to factor it. Square root of the first term, square root of the last, sign from the middle, put it in the parentheses and square it, and there's my standard form. Identify the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the y-intercepts, and the x-intercepts. Again, you can always pause this and adjust your speed to make sure that you're going at the right speed with your voice. Now I insert my graph. I plot my coordinate points, and I connect my graph. When I'm done, I hit the record at the top left, Say stop recording. Then you wanna tap and hold on the picture of your video and drag it over the arrow up at the top and choose to save your video. Then upload to Canvas just like you do from Edge Creations.